The Audi TT is one of the most recognised and most coveted sports coupes on our roads. It's a modern design icon, but there has to be more to the TT than just style. The third generation of the Audi TT retains the classic silhouette, but with a bit more aggression and chiselling all round that from afar makes it more like a mini R8. The TT has a suitably plush interior with some beautiful design elements. Audi's virtual cockpit is standard across the range and gives the driver full control of all the car's functions through some simple swipes and selections from steering wheel mounted controls or from a rotary dial on the centre console. or a 2 litre diesel with 184 horsepower. There's manual and automatic gearboxes. In standard form the TT is front wheel drive but there is the option of a quattro four wheel drive for extra grip on the 2 litre petrol model. The Audi TT is very much an everyday kind of driving sports car because the comfort and the refinement is just as good as any of Audi's more mainstream models. But once you start pushing the TT, it really does come alive. Naturally, it's got a very low center of gravity, so it feels perfectly flat and balanced when going around corners at speed. And there is what feels like never ending levels of grip, even in standard front wheel drive form. The steering is also quick to respond to inputs and the TT is a lot of fun to throw through a series of corners. <laughs> This car has the 1.8 litre turbo petrol engine with 180 horsepower. It costs 280 euro to tax per year and close to 40 miles per gallon is achievable with a bit of care if you do a lot of driving in and out of town over a variety of roads. Now this engine is down on power and torque compared to the 2 litre petrol but it can still move quickly with 0 to 100 kilometers per hour achieved in 7 seconds with the automatic gearbox. It changes gear quickly and seamlessly and if you want to make your TT feel a bit more sharp and responsive you can select the dynamic mode from the Audi Drive Select system and that's standard on S-Line models. Sport models start with an on-the-road price of €45,000.350, while S-Line models start with an on-the-road price of €48,000.850. The TT is described as a 2 plus 2 coupe, but normal sized adults will struggle for space in the back, so those seats are probably best considered for very, very occasional use. The boot opens like that of a traditional hatchback, so the space is easy to access and quite practical for daily use. The rear seats can also be left down for more space. Standard equipment on sport models includes 18 inch alloys, Alcantara and leather sport seats, electric parking brake, flat bottom steering wheel, the virtual cockpit, aircon and cruise control. S-line models add a lowered sport suspension, sportier bumpers, side sills, rear diffuser, 19 inch alloys, LED lights front and back, electric lumbar support, and auto lights and wipers. The Audi TT is not cheap to buy, but it's a top quality product with a stunning design inside and out. It's also a true driver-focused sports car, from the way you're positioned in the car and how you interact with the controls, to the fun and rewards that this car brings when you let it loose down a back road. Fashions may change, but the Audi TT remains a classic.